This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Hey guys, it is the Indie Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And this is a show we talk with people in and around professional wrestling, independent professional wrestling usually. And uh, we are, <laughs> we have already a lot of people in the chat room here alive on the IndieWrestling.us Facebook page. We've got a very, very special guest, an old, old friend of the Wrestling Mayhem oh, Show podcast. <laughs> Oh, not not you know, long time, a long time friend. But of course, please uh, before that we get to that, please go check out wrestlingmayhemshow dot com and indiewrestling dot us. That's where you'll find some great content, other great wrestling podcasts, uh, as well as uh, a lot of video uh, that features a lot of people we talk to on these shows. So if uh, you're introduced to some of them the first time, we tell a story uh, about some match or another. A lot of times, those are going to be featured over there and explore so much new talent that hey might be on your tv might be in your town wherever uh sooner or later and you can drop us a line good time good times at wrestling and 412 wms0 uh let us know if you have any questions for anybody we have announced for future guests or uh if there's anybody you think we should be talking to or any round table uh discussions you think we should be having please let us know there and uh we can definitely try to connect with those uh ideas uh, as you hit up, hey, we can't watch all the wrestling guys, and uh, that's where we're kind of depending on you guys to help us out and see who 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 are we missing a conversation with. Well, one guy that I've never missed a conversation with is John McChesney uh, joining us on the line from Erie, PA. Uh, I heard you referred to yep. as the, as the mayor of Erie, PA, the other night. Yeah, that's what a lot of people seem to keep saying. I'm not quite the mayor yet, but in another twenty years, you never know. You never know. Hey, hey, that sounds like a good. Uh, that sounds like a good next step. I mean, how many, how many, how many wrestlers have become like? I mean, I mean, Kane's doing it. Yeah, I could be the next Kane. You know, <laughs> I, if I I have to grow another foot and add another hundred pounds, but I could be the next Kane. You never know. <laughs> You're good. Oh man. But anyways, the reason we have you on here uh, th- this week, of course, we've talked so much about your wrestling career in the past, but uh, you have gone from that to 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 uh, owning a company, running a company up there in Erie. Uh, you're coming up yep. as we're talking. Uh, this Saturday is your one year anniversary, uh, and I've only been hanging with you guys up there since December, and it's been such a blast to see what you guys are doing up there and what's happening. Um, uh, tell me a little bit about. Okay, first, what is the inkling of you know as much as you can tell me of saying, "Hey, I want to be in control of one of these damn things." Well, that was never the thought. Uh, eight- years ago when I started wrestling uh, whatsoever I uh, but even before I became a pro wrestler I would run a you know <clears throat> backyard shows or two <laughs> at my house and a couple places around here but when I actually got into the game of wrestling I said I'd never wanted to promote shows mm-hmm. uh, and then you know I but I also had a good core of friends that did run shows in Erie uh, there was intense championship wrestling there's pro wrestling rampage ran by a gentleman named Jamie Scott and Mike Roberts for plenty of years. And when they got out of doing the PWR a year ago or so, I, myself and, and, and Aaron Draven, I'll make Aaron Draven. Um, we just felt like the, the trajectory of wrestling in Erie was going to go downhill. And as a representative of pro wrestling in my hometown, I could not let that happen. Mm -hmm. And that, that's kind of where it started for me. Again, I never really thought I'd be a promoter or want to do it. But when I saw what might be represented uh, as pro wrestling in Erie, I could not let that happen. And I, I wanted to just kind of be a part of running something at that point. It, it's really hard to explain, honestly, because cause like I said, I never thought of doing it. And, and I got kind of thrust into it out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And and then it's working. I mean, we're, here we are a year later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been, a world, it's been a fast whirlwind. But I will say... I have learned from many uh, great guys in this tri-state area, from Jamie Scott to uh, Norm Connors, obviously. Uh, I've learned a lot from him to Chuck to Chuck Roberts, the one and only, uh, and uh, maybe a touch from Justin Plummer. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, I don't know, 
been a fun year. That's awesome. Because, uh, you know, even right out of the gate, I remember a year ago just starting to see see these, like, cards of, you know, these, these social media cards pop up of, you know, so-and-so wants revenge, you know, and, 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 and it was a lot of like faces we knew from here in Pittsburgh, maybe up in Cleveland, you know, other areas too, but it was enough to kind of say, Oh wait, what is this? And I didn't know you were behind it at the time. I don't think I knew that until maybe, right. maybe, maybe a month or so after your show, I found out it was, it was you. And I don't even, I don't think I knew Draven was part of it until maybe, um, uh, uh, you know, we started talking about doing video perhaps, but, uh, right, right, absolutely. No, I will. When it first started, I didn't want to be like, "Hey, I'm doing this." Because again, I wasn't my intention to ever run it's, shows. It, it's not McChesney um, Pro, right? No, I don't <laughs> want it to ever. No, no, yeah, exactly. I never want it to be like that. Because I'm not in the game of putting myself over to by any means. Um, yes, I am on the shows. Yes, I've been you know wrestling for the championship, obviously, and stuff like that. But my intentions of when I decided to do this were not to put myself over. It was to provide one of the best products that you can see in this area. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I didn't want my name out there immediately with it because I wanted to see how it went. And But now I'm very proud of it now. And I, I think it's it's a good combination. Like you said, you've seen some guys from Pittsburgh, some from Cleveland, some from Buffalo. Um, I, as Obviously, you've known me since 2001. Mm-hmm. I was wrestling down in Pittsburgh in this tri-state area. In Erie, PA, if you think about it, we are an hour and a half from Pittsburgh, an hour and a half from Cleveland, an hour and a half from downtown Buffalo. We are dead center right on Lake Erie. And I think what I'm proud about Revenge is is we've taken some of the best from IWC in Pittsburgh, some of the best from Empire State in Buffalo, some of the best from AIW in Cleveland, and we have concentrated it right in the center. Um, You know, I want to say kind of like the heart of it right here in Erie. And yes, it's only been a year compared to all those companies being all here for 10 plus years. But, you know, after 18 years of wrestling, I'm happy to put a stamp on it and show and showcase the best wrestling around right in the middle of it all. That, that, that is one of the things. Um, uh, a few months ago, I know there was a picture, and I don't know how, how publicly shared this was, uh, but there was a picture in the back of everybody with their belts. And yep. and it was like representation of all of those companies you mentioned, and I think more Remix Pro. I think was part of yeah. that as well. Yes, one hundred percent. Yes, yeah. Remix Pro has helped us tremendously. Uh, you know, Omega, my partner here, he he's been the Remix Riot Championship. We had a uh, facade, the Neon Ninja. He defended his Remix Pro Heavyweight title on our show. Um, that that's kind of that's kind of where this whole one year anniversary comes into play. Mm-hmm. When when we started this, we I want we didn't have a championship belt, and you know uh, obviously the main event of this Saturday show is the six man gauntlet to crown the first ever revenge champion. I've been to a lot of companies throughout the years, uh, you know, in the eighteen years where people, you know, you start a new company and they just make a championship immediately. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do we didn't we didn't want to do that right away. That's why we showcased IWC championships, AIW championships, ESW championships, Remix championships. We showed you that we can provide the best champions and wrestlers this tri-state area has to offer for this whole year. And it's all going to com- culminate to this Saturday where we are not doing that anymore. Now, don't get me wrong. We're still going to provide those champions. They may not be defending their titles on our show, but now we are crowning one true revenge champion, and that will be the man in this area. That's awesome. That's awesome. It is, it is cool to see that that – um, and it seems to be happening more with promotions I'm seeing where where there are champions walking in with their belts, you know, and and yep. and, 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 and you know getting that kind of um, we're in this together vibe a bit. Yeah, I, this is the cheesiest thing in the world. I'm sure you've heard of it. The team <laughs> teamwork teamwork makes the dream work, man. Yep. I, I've been wrestling for so long, and when I when I started wrestling, independent wrestling was not as popular as it is right now, but. I remember vividly in every city you'd go to, there'd be one, two, three promotions all in the area, and they all hated each other and wanted to fight each other and wanted to do this. Nobody wanted to grow together. Mm-hmm. And in the last few years, with you know, with AEW coming along and, and everything with WWE growing with NXT and New Japan, it seems that more and more teamwork is happening, which is what I wanted to incorporate in this because if, if you haven't noticed, it's blowing up around this area. And mm-hmm. if we work together, more I see it. If you want to hate on each other, you know, you're going to divide everybody. I'd like to get everybody into one place at one time. So 
Absolutely. A lot of people in the chat uh, saying hello. Uh, Chris O'Shea is out there. Jordy's out there uh, hanging out with us here tonight. A lot of people I know that we see at those shows uh, and everything, too. So and, and speaking of the show, so, so the crowds, I, the one thing that impressed me first, this is, you know, uh, you know, not in a ba- basketball court, not in a gymnasium. Like you guys are at a, at a hotel right in the heart downtown downtown of Erie, PA. And I know that was a big right. uh, uh that, that was a big point to do those shows in downtown Erie. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, to try to be a little sentimental. I, that's where I'm from. I was born and raised in Erie, Pennsylvania. I moved away for a while, but I'm living here again. I love my city. I'm very proud of my city. It's a smaller town, but I love it. And the Avalon has been around for over 60, 70 years. And years and years ago, it was a big staple in Erie, the Avalon Hotel that's on 10th Estate where we run our shows. And I remember as a kid, uh, every single year, the night before Thanksgiving, uh, there would be a huge boxing card at this place in the ballroom that we are running now. And every single year, this place would be crazy packed. And it was awesome. And I had a just blast doing it. And when I started wrestling years ago, I always wanted to wrestle there myself. Granted, I, get, I didn't ever want to be the promoter back then, but I always wanted to say, hey, I, I wrestled at the same place I used to watch boxing all the time. And um, a very good friend of mine a year and a half ago or a year ago or so, um, you know, gave us the offer to be able to go into that venue. And it's been great. The, you know, the, the, <laughs> it's awesome in there. I don't even know how to explain it. It's not at a, it's not a gymnasium, like you said. It's not at a gymnasium. It's not in a legion hall. It's not you know, outside it, it's in this, this hotel, they have a ballroom, they have two restaurants, they have a nice club. It's all incorporated into one big event, not just a wrestling show. We do a nice little after party after it. It's, it's I want people that aren't just wrestling fans to come to these events. I, you know, I love the wrestling fans and I think true wrestling fans will always want to come watch wrestling, but I want people that aren't just interested in wrestling in general to come to all these events. And if we can have a, a venue that can promote more than just the show. I think it's, it's, it's great. Awesome. Awesome. And, and you guys are packing in. I think it's been well over 400 about, uh, about yep. every time I've been, been there since December. Absolutely. And we're, we're, uh, we're on track to do that again this Saturday. Uh, we've had a very good pre-sale. I mean, it is the middle of the summer, but I don't know if you've been following our Facebook uh, they have heavy duty air conditioning, according to our post <laughs> a couple of days ago. That is good because we so have we, we did advertise air conditioning at uh, two of the shows that we were working at, and uh, I don't know how much it actually helped, <laughs> other than maybe it right. could have been worse. <laughs> right, I uh, know. I hear you. No, but yeah, it's it's um, you know, it's, yeah, the, the, it's going to be good. The, the Avalon's been great to us. Uh, it, it is a nice venue because it's different. You know, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a ballroom setting. It's a little more intimate. Uh, we can fit, you know, we've had four to 500 people in there. We could fit up to a thousand if we need to, which is what we're hoping for this mm. Saturday. And, wow. you know, it's just, it's just it's, fun. It's just different. It's right downtown. It's directly downtown. If you walk outside of the Avalon, uh, our baseball field is two blocks away. Our civic center is three blocks away. Restaurants, bars, our other hotels are all right there. I've done so many shows in this tri-state area where you walk outside and it's just nothing. Mm-hmm. And I just think it's pretty cool that it's a centralized location. It's bringing a little bit of business to the area, you know, because Erie's a smaller town. We need stuff like this. So it's it's cool to have it in the heart of it. Absolutely. Uh, so also it's carpeted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah there's a carpet. There's yeah. A- so nobody... Never mind. I was going to say nobody could crack their head on the floor, but yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, no, it's really good. A really cool vibe up there. Um, so so. You know, normally I kind of ask people like, you know, some career questions, but man, we got, we got to talk about like, like this bit. So what, what is the biggest thing you've learned the first year of like running your own shows after, after so many years being just the the guy in the ring? To, uh, and this goes for me and from, I want to say, I want to say this to my partner as well, to, to, to not jump to conclusions, to calm down a little bit. Um, I, you know, a lot of times when you're booking people and doing things, somebody can say something and do something, you get real fired up and say something crazy right away about it. Mm -hmm. But it's more to calm down, take a breath because you can work it out as long as you have good communication with people. Um, when it comes to running shows, if you have partners, you're going to fight with each other. There's no way around it. I don't care what anybody says. There's no way around it. 
but it's to to take you know take what somebody says, take a step back, breathe, think about it before you react to it. Um, because at first, you know, every something would come up, and I'd freak out about it and stress myself out. But as it gets, you know, more and more, uh, we seem to be learning how to do this more. And uh, if I if I take a second to think about what I'm being told by different talent or different people that are running venues, or it's you know, I can I can uh, take it a little bit better. I guess sounds it's, like a good life lesson there. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's it's true though. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so of course, big show this weekend. Uh, you already mentioned yep. there's going to be the the uh, new uh, Revenge Pro championship that's going to be a part of this uh tell me what people can expect if they're checking out here live or or if they're not getting airy definitely checking out vod or dvd afterwards uh uh, but what can people expect this week uh they can expect one one hell of a show Uh, i first want to thank uh andrew lecherzik and wildcat championship belts for the wonderful creation that they made us uh the championship belt that we will be presenting this weekend is beautiful um it's 24 karat plated gold real leather it is one of the best titles that i've ever seen in my entire career um so that's the first thing that you can you know picture that night it's is is we're presenting a championship with a true championship belt uh, on the line the the main event is myself versus wardlow versus bill collier versus omega aaron draven versus colin delaney versus kevin bennett in a six-man gauntlet Two people start the match. When one loses, they leave. Another guy comes out. Uh, Omega has the biggest odds against him. He has to start the match at number one. I, uh, of course, since I run the show, I'm number six and give myself <laughs> the best odds. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, there's that match. There's We have Dylan Bostic. He's coming in to wrestle PB Smooth, who's been killing it all over the place. Uh, we have the huge uh, five-on-five Survivor Series match. Team LaRusso versus uh, the, the, the Dude Brood, ran by uh, Rex Brody, the stuntman. We have, you know, Megan Myers is making her debut in that match, which I'm very interested in to see. Some of the videos that she's been putting out lately are uh, quite creepy. Uh, <laughs> so there's that. We have the debut of Atticus Coger, who is by far one of the best wrestlers in this area lately. I've only seen a few of his matches, but every one of them have been amazing that I've seen. Uh, we have Andrew Palace versus the captain Nick Ando, who's from up in Rochester. That's like a, that right there is just just part of what I was saying earlier, mm-hmm. where where that's a guy, one of the absolute best wrestlers in Pittsburgh, Andrew Palace versus Nick the captain Nick Ando, who's absolutely one of the best wrestlers from upstate New York. Absolutely, and they're both they're both incredible personalities, but they're incredible wrestlers at the same time. Uh, and you won't see that anywhere else. No, around. no. You know what I mean? And, and I got to say, I actually got to meet Nick Ando, uh, uh, up in Rochester a couple of, uh, about a month or so ago. And, uh, it was really cool. It, like uh, they have a great place, uh, pop rock up there. And then saw him later yep. that night to just do a killer match with another guy that I think is a veteran of the uh, Rochester area as well. Uh, so like, right. like the, 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 you know, again, seeing that little like Rochester, New York, wrestling microcosm i know you you're up in that area a lot too oh yeah yeah i have been i, I lived in rochester new york for four to five years oh I that's right upstate. yeah yeah no i used to train up there a lot with those guys and then that's why like yeah, it was a long time ago in my career but i you know that's <laughs> that, that's that's what's like i said that's like with my career i've traveled a decent amount of areas so i've met a lot of guys which helps with this promoting thing because i can talk to guys from all these different areas and bring them together where, you know, a lot of times it's very centralized to their city or their surrounding 50, 60 miles Mm -hmm. where I can, you know, with this myself and Aaron and Mike, and Jamie can bring people together from all over the tri-state area. You know, Uh, it's, it's kind of cool. I'm looking forward to more of that after this one year anniversary. (laughs) So awesome. Oh, Oh, you know what? No. And you know, you asked me, we also have the debut of two guys that I haven't seen much. Uh, we have Daniel Eads, who mm-hmm. I believe you've seen before. Oh, I have. I've, I've seen only... a lot of Daniel Eads. <laughs> okay, and I hear he's incredible. Now, yes. me personally, I've never seen him in person. He comes with very high regard from one of our fellow revenge wrestlers, which is mm-hmm. why we're uh, bringing Daniel Eads uh, in here. And uh, I'm really looking forward to that. And then we have also a guy named Jake Ullman, who's from the Midwest area. 
he was recently over in Japan and he's coming here. Now I've never seen him in person, but I'm really looking forward to, to showcasing like again, stuff in the Tri-State area and then here and there things that most people haven't seen around here. Mm-hmm. So absolutely. So there's that. And also, if you're on here with video, here's a, a look at that championship belt that he was discussing earlier. It looks amazing. It is. It's it's beautiful. I mean, it's it's huge. I, I'll tell you, it is big, and it's going to look <laughs> wonderful around my waist. A I'm nice gonna, classic gonna, big gold belt. That's right, big gold. So what do they what do they call it? Big goldie. You know, big goldie. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, that is uh, this week. Uh, hey, you know what is you know kind of gave a little bit of the tips there, but what what is the best and the worst thing about running a your own show for a year? The best, well, okay. The worst part about it is the stress. Mm-hmm. The best part about it is being there that night and watching five hundred or more people smile and have the time of their lives. Uh, I did a little news thing earlier today on our local news, and I didn't know what clips they were going to show, and they showed one of our fans. We always call her Big League Jayla, but they they closed up on her, and she's sitting there smiling, sticking her tongue out at wrestlers, and just, like, no cares in the world. That That's the best part, is watching people have fun, watching the support we're getting, because, again, I've been doing this for a long time, and I never thought I'd get uh, more than 10 people to the door if I was going to run shows. And the fact that we've had 400 to 500 every time, just it makes my day. And it it makes uh, my heart bigger because pro wrestling is what I've loved since I was a little kid. I love it. I, I love that, that two of the guys that uh, – you're, you're one of the two guys that were at the first wrestling show I ever went to in the Pittsburgh area and now uh, are running their own shows and, and both just killing it there. Uh, the Marshall Gambino, yeah. who I know you work with, uh, with Revenge yeah, a little absolutely. bit as well. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's, Mar- hey, Mar- Marshall, well, real quick, Marshall is – an absolute MVP. Absolutely. Of the game of wrestling. 100%. And uh, I thank him for everything he's done for us and will we'll do in the future. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. I love that guy, man. He, he, he's, yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, and also, also, I, I we were joking about it on text a little bit, but I do believe the first thing I ever saw of independent wrestling in Pittsburgh was one fabulous John McChesney uh, getting his chest caved in the first time by low key uh, when uh, IWC used to run on local TV over here. Yeah, that was <laughs> the night of Super Indy Four. Hey, mm-hmm. you know, as much as it got caved in, that was that was the night that helped me uh, get a little name out there. Uh, that was the night I. I wrestled, I wrestled CM Punk, I wrestled Glenn Spector, and then I wrestled Loki all in all in one night. And my chest was black and blue for about a month after that, but uh, it was it was well worth it. That's awesome. Hey, always a good time going up the area. I know I haven't been up there for the last couple of shows, but uh, uh, always good to get back up there. I know the crew's been taking care of you in my absence, so uh, looking Absolutely. forward to you it. You guys have been doing a great job. We want to thank you as well for everything you've been doing for us can i say one last thing that tickets are still available at the door that night Mm -hmm. uh the pre-sale did go it it, it did end tonight Mm -hmm. uh, but there are still a couple second row seats left front row is sold out uh we you can get them at the door the hotel uh is on 10th and state in erie pennsylvania there are a few hotel rooms left if you call the hotel and you mentioned that you are wanting a room through revenge the rate is only Mm 79.99 for that night uh, I would hurry soon because there's not many rooms left. We are having a big after party right outside in the, the mezzanine there. We normally do it in the club, but with the weather being nice, we're doing it at a nice little outside after party. Nice. Uh, it's free admission with your ticket to the show, and it, it's going to be an unbelievable night. I, I you know, One year in, uh, and I can't wait. Looking for John McChesney, big league John McChesney, a.k.a. Mayor of Erie. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, look for we'll see you guys Saturday and of course please go check out Revenge Pro and if you want to check out any of the past stuff from Revenge Pro uh, there are clips and matches on both their YouTube Indie Wrestling.us's YouTube and both of our Facebook pages and of course everything's available on VOD for rent or purchase over on our Vimeo uh, Indie Wrestling.us page and uh, yeah, I think DVDs through you guys as well uh, going on too so go check it out you will not be disappointed uh uh, if you go to any of those promotions in any of those towns that we just talked about, uh, it, it is the best of all worlds. Uh, so go check it out. Thank you so much, uh, McChesney, for joining us. And uh, yeah, until... Yeah. 
And until next time. No, I just... <laughs> I'll be quiet. Don't worry. <laughs> until next time, please support in the wrestling. <laughs> This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.